Good afternoon. It is International Missing Children's Day for 2024, and it is always on May 25th of every year. We will look at some reasons for this day, as well as why the Forget-Me-Not is the international flower for the day, right after our disclaimers. This podcast is rated for a mature audience only. If you are under 18 years old, this content is not for you. Thank you for visiting us. There's plenty of other content on YouTube for you to watch. Have a great day. All content not created by the blue-haired bingo babe, that's me, belongs to its original creator. It is used to substantiate, augment, or exemplify this author's content. It is used under Title 17, Section 107 of U.S. Code, governing fair use for news, education, and critique. This is the Missing Children's Network, and this is a Canadian site from our neighbors right across the border in Montreal. Um, They have posted Keeping Hope Alive International Missing Children's Day, and that's always the 25th of May every year. And I'm going to try really hard not to inflict my very rusty French on anybody. Keeping Hope Alive, International Missing Children's Day. The theme for this year's Children's Month was Forget Me Not. They do not post on here what year it was. So we're going to just uh, assume it was this year. If it wasn't, okay. Throughout the entire month of May, the Missing Children's Network worked diligently to raise awareness about the plight of missing children and sensitize the public about the importance of keeping missing children safe in today's digital world. Every week we featured on our social media platforms heartfelt messages of hope by searching families, practical safety tips, inspiring interviews with key partners, long-term missing child cases, and published our annual poster featuring 12 unresolved missing children cases, as well as we launched Forget Me Not, an important awareness campaign aimed at ensuring that missing children are never forgotten. On May 25th, National Missing Children's Day, we gathered virtually with families for a very special and intimate evening of hope. So it sounds like this um, blog post was not this year. And they give some accolades to some people who have been instrumental in missing children's cases. I like this. Victoria Charlton, honorary godmother of missing children, shared a special message saluting the courage and resilience of families on social media. I might just feel that title of honorary godmother for at least the children in the United States. And uh, you can see all of their um, information, who they are, their board of directors, their youth ambassador, um, information ask, you know, under is your child missing, missing children cases resources, services and programs, how can I help? So this is a volunteer opportunity and a gifting opportunity. There's recent news, and you can contact Missing Children's Network at 950-Beaumont, that would be a street or an avenue, Suite 103, Montreal, Quebec, and the zip code is H3N1V as in Victor 5. And they also give telephone numbers as well as an email address of Info at missing child missing children network dot n g as in goat o. On May twenty fifth, nineteen seventy nine, six year old Eaton Pats disappeared from a street corner in his New York neighborhood while walking to school. A photo of Eaton generated national and international media attention and became the symbol of the missing children movement. Do you remember that statistic that we discovered at the end or towards the end of when your child is missing that said that children were most likely to be abducted in a stranger abduction, either walking to school, walking home, 
or at or around dinner time? Here might be an example of that statistic. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan proclaimed May 25th as National Mil Missing Children's Day. As public awareness of missing and abducted children increased globally, observance of May 25th as Missing Children's Day expanded outside the United States and in 2001, May 25th, was the first observed as International Missing Children's Day. In 2009, ICMEC began promoting a unified global message focusing on the member countries of the Global Missing Children's Network. The symbol for the International Missing Children's Day is the Forget-Me-Not flower. And so all you gardeners, grandmas, aunties, didn't you always want to be somebody's fairy godmother when you were a child? Or, gentlemen, didn't did you ever think about being somebody's fairy godmother or godfather or, I don't know, protector? I'm going to challenge you to join the blue-haired bingo babe in being godmothers and godfathers to children in the United States and their families who have been reported missing. And our standard of behavior is when your child is missing. So, that's it for today. Please remember both the children who are missing and the children who have been returned. The vast majority, let's never forget, have been returned to their family or at least to a safe place. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the garden.